Welcome to my van build. I'm here to walk you through a few of the features. When you first walk in, you have a step here, but there's a cubby hole right here. And this is for storing any of your wet shoes or umbrellas. When you look up here, you have a, a hook, and that's for like your raincoats and stuff. This makes sure you don't get any water in the vehicle and get your vehicle all dirty. You step up here, you have the sink. I created this so you can have an extra counter space, but this comes off and you have an open sink with a waterfall spout and a marine foot pump down here so you can control how much water you use, which is really nice because water pumps are loud, they're inefficient, and they waste a lot of water. You have an LED light up mirror here and it's dimmable so you can control how much light you have. This really helps at night when you're washing your face so you can actually really see what you're doing. Here we have the drop down uh, blackout curtain. This is so no one can see inside you and it also regulates the temperature inside as well. So it keeps the heat in or keeps it out, which is really nice. So it's fully blackout so no one will see you. And it just rests on the bench here. That's removable, but it also opens up and it's cushioned. So if you have a dog or something, it can sit there when you drive if you need that seat open for a person. Here we have the propane stove which is all cast iron and stainless steel. It has a connection down here and can be converted to gas connection as well, if that's what you prefer. There's storage here, underneath, all in here, in the cabinets. And then here you have a Berkey water filter. It holds one gallon. Storage up here, puck lights. Um, the fire extinguisher is also in here is for all kinds of gas fires and the carbon dioxide detector here. Down here, I created the step to get up onto the bed and into the sitting area. You open it and it's actually storage for one pound of propane tanks. And it's cushioned on the bottom to help with any rattling. It keeps it organized. Here we have extra storage on the side, just utilizing every space here. If you desire a toilet in your builds, like in this van you wanna add it, you can actually pull this out to line up with this step, take up this extra space, and you can create a, a stationary uh, toilet on the side there. You drill down into the floor for your fan and everything. Like if you do a composting toilet, um, there's nothing under the vehicle there. So it's safe to drill through. This is the bed build. This turns into a queen size bed. I designed this to, it's a U-shaped bench um, which I'll show you the table and everything here in a minute, but it's designed so you can have the bed half made if you want. So this is half the bed. You have your bedding on and everything, and then you can have a bed you can actually lounge on, watch TV on, but you have your whole kitchen still open and accessible to you. This was really important. It's really nice to have whenever you have more than one person in the vehicle as well, because then you're not like dancing around each other. And then when you're ready, there's another platform here that comes and it sits right here and turns this into what's a little bit bigger than a queen size bed. It's technically a king size bed, trimmed down. <laughs> um, you have the ceiling fan here, a touch dimmer switch for your puck lighting here, and your remote controller switch here. This bed was also designed so while you're in bed, if you need to access anything like the fridge, which is in here, you can pull the sheet back and access your fridge and this just pops right out. And then you just put the blanket back. That way you're not having to unmake your entire bed. That was like a big flaw I saw in a lot of builds where people would make their bed and then they couldn't get anything inside. So if you wanted to like access clothes or extra blankets, that's the rest of the Berkey Builder. <laughs> um, you can just reach in and grab it, which is really nice. I also drilled holes in all the platforms to allow the mattresses to breathe to make sure that they don't accumulate any moisture or mold or anything like that. This is a brand new mattress and brand new cushions and fabric and everything as well. These serve as the backrest. So I'll show you that. And this is the tabletop. So this is storage as well. Typically, what I always did is I kept my bedding in this one because it fits like I would keep a big feather duvet, sheets, throw blankets, and pillows all in here for two people. And then I'd use this for all of my personal items. 
the leg just slides in here and then the tabletop sit, fits snugly on top so this is a good table for two i don't have it tied all the way but it tights all the way <laughs> and then if you don't want to have your table out and you want to have open seating hold on, grab me at a weird angle it slides right back here with the other cushion that creates so there's a shelf back here which i'll show you so this will go away put a cap here you can store this in here and then you have open seating so i'll show you the back it's a really fun feature i created what i call the garage and this is where you can store everything else that's you don't use quite as often or it's really big and you don't want to have it in there so I have these sliding bins that come out. They come with the vehicle. Here's the heater. There's also a portable AC unit, which I'll have to take a picture of. But you can store any like camping gear, cooking gear, anything, anything extra you can imagine that you don't want to like have in the bench mis mixing with your clothes and stuff. That's where that goes. And actually underneath, you can't really see it, but there's there's a uh, two by fours on here. So there's gaps which create cubbies to actually strap things to the ceiling which i've done which is like what these are for which is cool so you can utilize the ceiling and the floor and cubbies and everything this is the battery these are the battery banks we have two 100 amp hour batteries for the house and then there's the um charge uh backup battery charger that connects to the vehicle's engine uh, engine as well battery so when the vehicle's running it's dually charging your house batteries so if it's cloudy outside and you're not getting any sun on the solar panels, um, it'll still be charging. So you'll never lose power, which is really nice. Over here, which was the yellow machine underneath, is the sea to shore power. So you can plug in dually, you can also plug into a regular house prong outlet to charge the vehicle and it just closes. So you can charge your vehicle by driving, being in the sun, or parking somewhere, anywhere. You don't need a special RV hookup to do it. These windows actually open up. That was just kind of like a cute little feature I put in with blackout curtains um, because I found that when I just had curtains over it, I wasn't able to actually see outside the window. I had to like open up the entire thing and I didn't want to always be so exposed. So I created little cute house windows worked for me. I liked it because then I can like peek out. I can be nosy, but then no one's being nosy back on me because <laughs> you want to watch what's going on around you. Did I leave anything out? I think that's good. So there we go. <laughs>